Hello. If you're clicking on this video, you're probably wondering and interested in meditation. Why am I making a video about meditation? Why am I somebody to make of any authority to make a video? And the reason is because I understand the bigger picture surrounding meditation. Many people are being told in the world now, or insinuated, what to do in their life, both physically, study, school, but also um, spirituality and self-help. <laughs> so here I am, own Fox here in the Caribbean, inspired to make a video after seeing another video about how to meditate. I'd like to share with you my personal experience. Basically, the synopsis of the other video was you meditate for two reasons, and one is to feel medita meditative or peaceful or well or happy in the meditation. And second of all, like going to the gym, you build up your power so when you're not meditating, you feel more meditative when you're not meditating, just in ordinary daily life. <laughs> And I definitely agree with these reasons, and especially the second reason. And in my life, many years ago, I meditated, or, or I actually practiced, yeah, I used to meditate between one and three times per day for, for about a month. And that was around seven years ago. But then I underwent a deep transformation in my life, where I wasn't enlightened afterwards, but for a while I thought maybe I was something like enlightened. <laughs> Not really, truly, literally thinking I felt enlightened, but I did go through a big enough change where my old life seemed a bit, a bit far away and a bit different, not who I really was anymore. But one of the things that I did was practice presence or deep mindfulness in the moment, which is another way of saying paying attention to what's here and now. So it could be the tree, could be listening and watching to this video. It could be listening to the sound of my voice, very, very specifically. It could be being aware of the room or the place that you are now in watching this video. For me, it would be a mixture of being aware of the silence, the dog noise far away, the gentle whispering of the leaves and the wind, and maybe just the fact that I'm holding a camera and standing on the ground. So there's different forms of sense perceptions and there's different ways to be aware and present and paying attention in the moment. So like this other video by this guy called JP. It's very important to build your power of presence as Eckhart Tolle would say. So the main reason is when you're triggered or when you're acting unconsciously or from programming, from autopilot, from past conditioning, you're more likely to spot this because you're used to paying attention to things. You're used to becoming like spotting something in the moment. So you spot yourself in the moment, you spot your trigger, you spot your emotional flux, you spot your reaction, you spot your negativity, you spot your, your tension or your vulnerability, you spot your need to retaliate your anger, you spot all of these things what some people might call your shadow or your, your dark side, getting serious about it. <laughs> Just joking of course. You spot all the areas where the light of your consciousness, using a fancy spiritual word, where you're not aware of, you, you, you're, you're not aware of, simple as that. And in my life this has been the biggest thing for me to transform myself and have a better life and to be more conscious and to raise my vibration, to let go of lowering my vibration and that's by becoming aware of what is lowering my vibration. This is essential on the spiritual path of growth, expansion, self-discovery. For how can you spot, how can you see what you can't even see? How can you become aware of what you don't become aware of? How can you change that which you cannot see or become aware of? So it's all about seeing and then you can change and deal with what you see otherwise you're living in unconscious autopilot which many people are and you know when people do this ouch and your job is then not to react 
negativity and programming and hurt and pain with them. Which a good teacher, a very, very, very good teacher, Eckhart Tolle you might call the pain body, some people call the shadow, or, or some people call the ego. I'll rephrase these. It's basically conditioning and programming and false beliefs and programmed beliefs, programmed habits, conditioned habits, ways of thinking, ways of behaving, cultural ways, family ways ways we've been taught which are basically disharmonious, false or destructive and lead to an unhappy life and a messed up way of living. It's especially seen in relationships. So I have I built my reservoir of presence or uh, mindfulness or meditative living uh, many years ago because I practiced intense paying attention f with everything kind of almost like all day for like three and a half to four years <laughs> it became too much actually it's a bit in too intense for too long then I like the pendulum swings I went on the back foot and I just withdrew from this and I, oh, there's like sand flies biting me or something <laughs> in the Caribbean here so now I don't meditate any I never I've stopped meditating ever since then but I've built up my reservoir, so if you haven't built up your reservoir, I would recommend doing some maybe Buddhist mindfulness or paying attention. Like I said earlier in the video, you just notice stuff. And part of this noticing is then you notice your thoughts, your conditioned programming, programmed false, negative, gloomy, limiting thoughts and beliefs, and how you define a situation or a person, your definitions, as Bashar would say, one of my favorite channels ever in the world. Check him out on YouTube, Bashar. Bashar is a physical entity that's living at the moment in what could be equated to a a slightly different reality to, in a sense where his civilization is like physi physiologically approximately 300 years in our future but but culturally as far as their sophistication and expansion they're more like 3000 years in our future very advanced and he's very fun clear extremely wise and knowledgeable so it's fun to become more aware of yourself your limitations some people have said that I have a, I have a, a pretty pure vibration relatively speaking and some people have said about the Christ consciousness is within everybody and that it is relatively active within me. I don't want to sound bragging or anything like that because that's not what it's about. My life is about truth, honesty, sincerity, service, enjoying and exploring life and creating in life consciously for the good of me and for the good of other people. <laughs> so a big part of my philosophy is do no harm I don't want to hurt anybody or anything so simple meditation for example which is from Thich Nhat Hanh Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Buddhist monk for example is simply close your eyes, sit down breathe in and as you're breathing in say I am breathing in simple and then when you're breathing out you, you say to yourself in your mind I'm breathing out and that's it you repeat I am breathing in I am breathing out and it can be like a little whisper and part of this whispering of, of this simple sentence is you also become aware of the silence around you and the feeling of silence or spaciousness within you which is also very powerful feeling of meditation within you or meditative feeling so and how long should you meditate well there's no shoulds in life so you, you shouldn't meditate for any amount of time there's no shoulds shoulds don't exist should is like an enforced alternate reality or something which interferes with our real reality drop it's okay to say should and we can use it loosely and it has a meaning and we often know what it means but when you use it seriously or like literally 
it doesn't hold weight, it's not real, and it's sort of like a peculiar thing to think to really feel. So you're the master and the creator of your own life, you're a divine being, there's no point in pretending otherwise. And the simple thing to do is simply do it for as long as you want. If you feel like even doing it in the first place. And then stop when you want. You can do it for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, 5 minutes, 3 hours. There's no rules. So that's another thing in life to know. There's no rules. And what's good for one person is not good for another person. And what's good for you is not good for you at another time in your life. And it fluctuates and it changes. So you can go up and down, on and off. It could be good one day, not good the other day. One year, then good another year not good, it's good, not good, good, whatever. Usually we expand, we grow, we drop things, we change things, we shift things around the place. And that's part of the fun and enjoyment of life. So don't get too serious about a practice, if unless you want to. As you can see, everything's very flexible and easygoing and fluid, like water. Like the Taoists talk about water. Be like water, like Bruce Lee talked about water, the power of water, and being like water, flexible and fluid soft but but very very powerful so i'll leave you with this with that basically speaking hope you enjoyed this video so if you're new i invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new or not new i encourage you to share to think about sharing anyway if you feel like it to spread the word with other people who may be wondering about the subject and to help spread a bit of light and clarity on this planet so collectively we may, we may experience a brighter and lighter future together. Check out my links below, my herb shop, my sp spiritual and health one-to-one -one coaching. You may be interested in that. And my partner's spiritual counselling and her energy healing work as well. So thank you for watching and I shall see you again in another video. Bye now.